This is my 94 Toyota Celica GT 2.2 liter engine Fire SFE. I recently got this for a very low price $500. Good engine, good transmission. I had minor issues. I had, when I got this, I had two ruptured brake lines due to the cover that covers them up. Because due to the salt and snow in this area, around Chicago, Illinois. And I had some minor issues, like the brake lines. I had no brakes when I got it, when I took it home. I was running all red lights. There were no plates, as you can see. So, worried about, I wasn't worried about traffic lights. So when I got this, I had no brakes. Caliper pistons were stuck. Changed the rotors, because they were really thin. I haven't rode this car in a while, so that's where they're on. The rotors are getting kind of rusted out. Have to take them out. I had corroded battery terminals. Switched them out with some new ones. Add a bad battery. Got a new battery. Add a bad starter. When I used to try to start the car, it wouldn't start. And it will, I will hit the starter to activate the windings. And it will start. So that verified I had a very I had a bad starter. The alternator wires were ripped in a way. So I just crimped them up together. And I was working well. I see my power steering fluid pretty black. Might have to flush that out. I'll, I'll make a video about it soon when I have time. So it had bad brakes. I bled the brakes after. Now it brakes really well now. I had a clogged up fuel filter. This is kind of just detachable, so I'm just gonna do it really quick. Oh yeah, I guess this is just a custom made cold air intake, well short air intake. Previous owner had. It's kind of messed up. Bad fuel filter. As you can see, I run down a new fuel line down here. The compressor fittings. Can't really see it. I switched out the spark plugs and spark plug wires to NGK. NGK wires, NGK spark plugs. Oh, what else? My starter wire. They had they installed the poorly installed poorly kill switch. It was installed poorly, and it wouldn't start the car sometimes. So as as soon as I took that out, repaired this wire, and repaired um started the starter, switched out the starter. It will start every time now. It does not start right now due to no gas because I have a gas leak in my gas tank. It has a rusted out spot. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Either switch out the gas tank or just drill a hole, put a screw in it, or put some sheet metal. And somehow put some epoxy and just glue it back really hard. And there's no coolant. No cooling at all. I will be getting a cold air intake, short or short run intake, anytime soon. I would, uh, I am gonna paint this valve cover, possibly a different color, possibly black, black, due to the bad paint. Valve cover seal. Does look in good condition, it's not leaking oil, but I will switch that out as soon as I paint the valve cover. I am gonna change the oil, I have ch haven't changed it since I got this. I just wanna change it to my oil 5W30. Is it, is it 5W30? Tell 
10 W30. What else? Um, I will show you my fuel pump. No, shit. I don't got the key. This is my 94 Toyota 6.5SFV engine. I'm going to show you the brake lines that were ruptured. I have found that many, many four Toyota Celicas have a cover that corrodes them, these lines a lot. And these are two brake lines and two fuel lines with compression fittings. Compression fittings are on the brake lines installed already. And this compression fitting, I had to put a new, um, a new fitting on it because it bended in the way when I was installing it. These are my brake calipers. Haven't rolled this in a while, so that's why it looks like that. I installed a, a new filler neck from, uh, I think, uh, from Rock Auto. From, I couldn't find a filler neck for a 94 Toyota Celica. So I just ordered from a 2.2 Camry and it's installed correctly, just fine. Worked really fine. This is zip tied because I'm not, the gas tank strap is not on right. I have to bolt it up. I, I lost the bolt, so that's why I kind of just put that zip tied just to hold it in place. Meanwhile, these brake caliper bracket bolts, they were rounded off. That was the biggest issue I had. So I just cut them off, put a new bleeder screw. Well, I don't know why the, the caliper looks like that. Maybe it didn't look like that a couple weeks ago. But this one, this one doesn't look like that. This is the only one that looks like that. This is my gas tank. Right underneath this strap. Is a rusted out spot that leaks gas. Like I said, I will repair that soon. I will keep in touch. Keep on uploading videos. Maybe when I have time. And in order, I did drop the gas tank to put that fuel filler neck. And in order, in, and when I had to drop the gas tank, I had to drop the exhaust. So, but the exhaust bolts were kind of rusted out and corroded. And so I just cut it from right there. So that deleted the resonator and muffler. So it has a muffler and resonator delete right now. These are the lines again. I will repl be replacing all four struts, stabilizer links, possibly bar joints, anytime soon. And this is basically it. I will keep doing more repairs on this. I will keep you in touch. Like, comment. Anything, share this, whatever, you know. Just trying to start my own channel. Just, I will be doing other cars, other repairs on cars, but this is just my personal car. I might swap the engine out anytime. When this engine dies out, I will swap it out. Possibly with a 3S GTE or probably just a 5S FE. Just to keep it as a daily. And I will keep you updated. Thank you.